All right, everyone, we're Chatham Rabbits. We're here in Charleston, South Carolina at the Garden and Gun offices for a back porch session. Um, we're going to play y'all a few tunes that we wrote, and uh, we'll kick it off with a song called Abigail. This is a, a tune inspired by the Pack Horse Librarians of Kentucky, which uh, it was a group of women during the Great Depression that were hired by the federal government to deliver library books in really hard to reach areas of Appalachia on horseback. And I really wish I could go back in time and do that as my job. It would probably be the only yeah. career harder <laughs> than playing banjo for a living. This is our tune called Abigail. next tune we're going to play for y'all is one that's really special uh, to Austin and I. We, um, we wrote this song during the pandemic in the very heart of the, the scary times of, of that whole experience. Um, we had some awesome fans that reached out to us and wanted to help us because everything had been canceled on our schedule like all other artists out there. And um, essentially, they asked us if the wife of this couple asked if she could pay us to write a song for her husband's birthday. And we were like, absolutely. Yes, you can pay us to do that. Um, and so we agreed and we wanted to just really take it seriously and do the best we could. So we interviewed her about her husband, Sam, and she said so many kind things. Um, but the thing that Austin and I both really thought was awesome was just that she elaborated on the fact that her husband never told their five-year-old granddaughter that she was cute or pretty 
but just that she was smart and brave and capable. And we just loved that. So we wrote a song about it. This is called, You Never Told Me I Was Pretty. This song is my letter to you when you're old and gray. I hope you'll be around to see that I turn out okay. You've already done your part and told me I was If Sarah and I didn't have enough on our plate playing music for a living, um, we just recently, after like a whole year of working with her family, uh, we bought uh, a farm that's been in Sarah's family for almost 300 years, mm -hmm. 62 acres just uh, south of Greensboro, and uh, Sarah's the ninth generation to own it and the second woman to own it, yeah. which is really cool. Which is crazy. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. not the last, though. Hopefully not the last. <laughs> And uh, there's a farmhouse that was built in 1755. It started as a log cabin and then added onto in the 1800s. And we are, it's been sitting for like <laughs> probably 100 years. It's, it's... And we're taking it apart and putting it back together again. So 
It's a crazy time for us on the farm. Not to mention we have three horses, two cows, a dog, a cat, chickens, and a turkey, so. It's just, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot going on. We live in a tiny house that's like, it's positioned so every morning we wake up and we look at this gigantic headache from the 1700s. <laughs> it's a constant reminder of what we have ahead of us, uh, yes, for Yes, sure. but there's something really um, exciting and inspiring about the whole project. And, um, you know, we're, we're hoping that one day it's a place that we can have concerts and have family dinners and like all of those things. But I guess this tune is about how we overcommit and certainly how I try to befriend people at every venue and uh, festival that we play. And I have a genuine interest in getting to know people, but due to the nature of our life, as Austin's talking I about. I saw you chatting it up with the ladies over there. Oh, earlier. yeah. I'm friends. CJ and I are friends now. <laughs> We're friends. She brought me a marble. It's awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. This is our song called This Year. When I see a car in East Virginia, I want to know who's behind the wheel. When I pass a cemetery, I want to know who's laying in the and listening. We're Chatham Rabbits and we hope you'll come see us at a show soon. Yay!